Hey everybody, this is Chuck. Thanks for stopping by the shop. This is a quick follow-up to my previous uh, video, the ER32 collet stop, which is this guy right there. So, if you read the comments, uh, a lot, there's a little bit of discussion about using a stop in an ER32 and the fact that it'll change as the collet pulls back in. And I think I made a comment that I thought that the C5, 5C, excuse me, 5C collet with a collet stop in it would also change. So did a little quick video here with a little testing and uh, like, uh, like to see what you think. Comments are always welcome. And uh, as a spoiler, I'm not going to tell you what my results were. But I uh, hope you enjoy. And as always, uh, thanks for uh, stopping by the shop. So, over here at the Monarch, I've got the stop, the 5C stop that I made, and it's installed here. I didn't really tighten it down. It can be threaded, but you. But anyway, we're going to, just for the fun of it, we're going to play with it here. So I've got a three-quarter inch ER32 collet there. Tighten that down. And I've got a three-quarter inch gauge pin. And so it's up against the stop. The stop's about six hundred thousandths. The face of the stop is about six hundred thousandths back from the face. So let's let's tighten this. And this is this is about the whole discussion of what happens when you use an ER32 collet. Does the product pull back into the the collet? And this wrench is just really tight on this son of a gun. Come on. Come on. Get on there. There we go. All right. So we give it a little cinch. I'm going to bring the indicator, turn the indicator on. We'll bring the indicator over on the cross slide. And we're going to zero it. So you can see there it's moving, uh, what's that, uh, tenth? Okay, so we're going to pull that off of there. Very lightly, not touching that. I'm going to loosen it. Okay, pulled it out. Let's put it back in. It's up against the stop. Tighten it down. Get this wrench on there again. Come on. Are you fighting? There we go. Give it a tighten. Bring the indicator back over. And it reads the same. But within a thou. I think that's pretty good. So it does not appear that it's pulling the part back in as you tighten it up against the stop. So let's do the same thing with a 5C collet now. My understanding of a 5C collet, when the collet draws the part, it pulls the part back, whether it's on a stop or not. So we'll test that. But this is, uh, looks like the worst it moved is uh, about a thou, depending upon where you're at. Now, the, the, the other thing mentioning, uh, let's see. Uh, I just want to see, that, that son of a gun's in there stiff. Okay. The end of the stop probably not dead flat that could be an issue or actually the end of the stop should have a, a little round nose on it which would you know seat in the same place each time but a thou is a thou okay 5c square block got a three-quarter inch 
5C collet and the same stop is down in there. So let's put this guy together. Let's put the... Okay, it's up against the stop and I forgot the nut. Hang on a second. Okay, I've put my collet chuck, 5C collet chuck on. Got the same stop that I had in the ER collet. It's down in there. And we will, same three quarter inch pin. And bring this back in. Okay, we're going to give it a tighten up, okay, bring the indicator back over, we've got a preload on the indicator, zero on the indicator, same thing, we've got a little bit of movement as we go across the face there, okay, this is tight. So now let's see what happens when we take it out and put it back in. Okay, pins out, pins back in. You can see the you can see the collet moves back into the nose. Same tightening. On, nice and easy and it repeats and you can see if we loosen this up you can see it's pushing out pull it back it returns back to zero so that reads the same is what the ER collet was doing. They both read the same, they both work. Well, if you made it to the end, thanks for hanging in there. It appears that the stop in my ER32 collet works fine if you're putting short pieces in there. Now, I did not test the grip strength very close to the nose. We know that a 5C collet closes very close to the nose because it's pinching on the three sides there. The ER likes to, the whole piece to, to grip. But I think uh, for many circumstances, uh, my stop will work when I need to uh, use it. Well, this was the uh, collet that I overboard in the video, so you can see I made a Delrin insert. This was my practice that I had done on the threading, so I figured I might as well use it. So, put the Delrin bushing in there, and I can screw my stop in. So, job done.